I'm Dr. Pierce Lin from Universal Eye Centers, Taiwan. This talk is about SOP of Fentolesk with FS200. The SOP will cover preparation, patient status, and FS200 process itself. The environmental temperature should be kept within 18 to 24 degrees Celsius and humidity less than 50%. Vertex distance should be 12 mm or adjusted according to local patient. Minimal residual stoma bed is said to be 250 micro at least. Laser setting of flag creation in bed, side cut, and canal can be adjusted for optimization of power synergy, line and spark separation according to individual machines or surgeon's preference. As shown here, Elcon's recommended settings and ours in the right low color. The flap shape should, could be round or oval according to optimism axis. The diameter is set at 8.7 mm for myopia and may be smaller, for example, 8.5 mm for smaller cornea size of 11 mm. Thickness is set at 110 micron routinely. It can be reduced to 100 micron for high myopia to save cornea tissue. The hinge position is usually set at upper cornea in 90 degrees or temporal upper to avoid canal bleeding into flap interface. The hinge position can also be set at temporal side to avoid traumatic flap displacement. The width is 0.4 mm or 55 degrees in default. Side cut angle is set to be 75 degrees in default, but I'd like to set inverted angle greater than 90 degrees, for example, 110 degrees which is easier to position the flap in right position and better fitting in the flap gutters. The nerve repair and recovery are reported to be sooner. So patient has less dry and the flap adherence is much better resistance to flap displacement. Canal's length should be adjusted to extend over the watermark of flap to ventilate the femtal bubbles and avoid opioids. AC bubbles thought to be caused by canal bubbles leaking into anterior chamber via Schnee's canal. If you narrow the canal width to 0.8 mm from the default setting 1.5 mm, you can decrease the chance of canal breathing as well as incidence, incidence of anterior chamber bubbles. The only instrument used is wire speaker and the screw one for small and tight palpable fissures. Patient education video showing here how to stare at the center of the white circle light. You may talk to the patient as follows. You can see a white circle of light Look at the center of the white circle. I will put a suction ring to hold your eye, and you may feel swelling sensation, and the light may be tempered. It's normal. Just relax, and do not squeeze your eyes. You may have pressure sensation during ducking. Very good. Good posture of patient's status rely on the four following positions. Body position should be kept straight and centered on laser bed. Head position kept in center of bed pillow in routine, but tilted to one side if prominent nodes hinders the path of PI ducking. Forehead to chin kept parallel level, but chin up for prominent forehead or chin down for prominent cheek. For eye position, you should keep the iris plane parallel to the floor and open the artificial wide enough with this speculum and adjust head and chin position to have equal scale show. 
to avoid the Mongolian gland secretion or the eyelashes being trapped into the interface between the cone and the cornea. You can adjust the chin position and spe speculum to let the cornea position kept in the center of the hexagon as shown. To make the scale show equal, it's very important to have equal scale show with space enough for suction ring insertion. Be careful of loose conjunctiva to be entrapped into the suction ring to avoid pseudo-suction. Position the eye to have straight ocular alignment. The two red alignment light is set across the cornea and just lying on the limbus. The cornea condition should be kept moist but not to wait, i.e. no visible free, in order to prevent shallow suction or shallow laser cutting. Position the suction ring to keep the red circle suction ring, cornea, pupil, and lightly face on cornea in a concentric circles pattern. If the leaf fissure is still very small or the eyelashes interfere the path, you can pull the upper lip a little bit upward and tilt to one side of the suction ring to get into the upper skirtial space and then the lower one. Hold the temporal part of the tube of the suction ring with one hand and balance on the top of the suction ring with another hand. When pushing the suction ring downward, you may see a ring of free or tight contact between the suction ring and the conjunctiva. Then the vacuum of suction one can be activated by foot pedal. This video shows how to prepare the scale show equal. <coughs> to let the cornea in the center of head gun area and how to position the suction ring in a concentric pattern of suction ring, limbus, and lyrifice and cornea pupil together. As shown in the video of ducking process, after suction one activated and green light appeared, you can push into cone of the PI and turn the joystick to duck the cone to the suction ring. When the cone and the suction ring approaching closer, the downward speed should be slower in order to let the leading end of the cone get into the orifice of suction ring much easier. The suction, the vacuum too will be activated automatically after the cone of gantry pushing upward and the green light will finally appear after appropriate contact of the cone and the suction ring. Ducking is the most important difficult step of SOP. It requires repeated practice. Keep the concentric circles concept in mind. The right upper picture shows the ducking concentric circles pattern of the suction ring, red circle, lightly fed and cornea, and the pupil in alignment. After activation of suction 2 and green light appears, the position of the green flat mark as shown on screen can be adjusted to the centers of the pupil within the range of red circle. The canal's length should be adjusted to extend outside the water mark between the cone and the cornea. The frontal laser can be started for flat creation. The whole process is then completed after six seconds of frontal laser firing. During the whole process, mental support is very important. Guide and talk with the patient in a calm voice at all times. Encourage the patient during the whole procedure. Stable tone and manners keep both patient and doctor in good medical interaction. FS200 is extremely safe if doctor knows the details of all the SOPs. I wish you all the best. Thank you.